modest lifestyle welcome back to the channel it's a reaction video who made it to the top of course you and i were here we're back like we never left place people everywhere quick reminder if you love me i love you back i love you with the with i love you back to back mm -mm, mm -mm. backpackers everywhere lazy people everywhere you guys are too much you without you guys like seriously why are we here happy happy monday to you all who do we have here on the table before we move ahead ahead have you grabbed something grab whatever that is grabbable me i got my bottle of water grab yours sharp sharp sharply sharply who else is here? Of course, Coco Mama of the Mustard made it to the table. You, you are here. The can guess. Roro Roro, my yogu note. Congrats, mom, Davo Junior, Evan Winnie. D of the Natus Association of Kenya made it to the table. Kino's mom is on this table. Kino's brother. In fact, all of us are here. Why are we even wasting time? Guys, where do we start? Let me start from Davo Junior because this one is a little bit touchy to me. Davo Jr. is having issues with the Kenge just because Davo Jr. cooks and serves his mom. Because Davo Jr. takes care of his mom on camera. And you and I can see how selfish the Kenges are. Davo Jr. went to the market with Hello Baby official, bought some dried fish, the little, little fish, came back, prepared it, made some ugali. How he would normally after cooking, he will rush to drop this food for his mom. Davidino did not do that. He ended the vlog and he showed that Winnie was there. So guess what? Winnie will now be the one taking care of Congress mom. Why is Mr. Kenge and Rororo this weekend? Why are they so mean like this? Guys, he boiled my heart, boiled my heart. I said, no wonder that this guy is in a hurry to leave the village. Because me, like I told you, Davidino... His body language is enough for me. I don't need anybody or anything like, oh, somebody must pass a message to me. It's written all over that Mr. Kenge is not happy that the Virginia cooks by their home and brings it over. And he will not take care of his mom. It's not even like, you know how you would want something to... Guys, I can understand, okay? If Mr. Kenge said, you know what, I don't want issues here. Whatever mom will eat, I will provide. I have cooks here. Whatever she wants. She wants me to boil water for her. I have people that will boil. I know my woman will not do it. <laughs> I know I don't even want Rororo to lift anything. Mm. Here, Mr. Kenge telling Rororo, do you want to touch this? People were busy doing their mud thing, mud house, fixing like a, a cow place or something. I don't know. And Rororo said, oh, I want to do it. And Babamara was like, do you want to do it? You get dirty. Are you going to take a bath after you? Who? Who Who doesn't want to? Those guys that are doing the mud thing and their hands are dirty, they are not human beings. Yeah, you must remind her that if she touched the soil, she will be dirty. Yani? Huh? <laughs> hey! This guy is so useless. The same guy that came all the way from Nairobi, the guy that he gave 2000 and the guy refused to leave, went to Onkumo to report it. The guy is still there. And Mr. Kenge is cashing on top of his head. Mr. Kenge is making jest of this guy. Mr. Kenge is actually abusing this guy. This is an abuse. Mr. Kenge is using this guy to activate donation. Now, Mr. Kenge is telling his audience, give money to my PA. Send money to my PA. All this donation, I want to collect it through my PA. For what reason? Your audience, they are suspicious that this guy is not genuine. They are suspicious that, you know what, this guy doesn't look like he really needs help. Guys, looks can be deceiving. Some people, they know how to package themselves. We call it packaging in Nigeria. Actually, most guys that are freaking rich, most guys that are stinky rich, it doesn't show when you look at them. They can even decide to wear one dress throughout the week or throughout the month. And yet, their bank account is heavy. Some, they've got nothing, but they look rich. I remember my late brother that passed away. May he so rest in peace. Every morning like this, he would dress himself up. 
His clothes, his t-shirt must be ironed, ironed, ironed out. If we don't have electricity, he's using charcoal iron. There's another one we we'll call charcoal iron. He must, you must not catch him looking unkept. You, you will never catch him wearing rumpled dress or anything. He'll package himself, get himself cheapest perfume, rub it, rub it. Every now and then he will touch it because you know cheap perfume doesn't last. You have to retouch all the time. And when you ask him, why are you like this? You look very rich. He said, yes, I want to look rich because I want to be rich. I must look rich first. So that when you see me, you will not insult me. Because you are addressed the way you dress. Now, my uncle and Mr. Kenya brought this guy in front of all of us. You're telling your audience, how? Through my manager, through my PA. Here, he even pinned PA's number, okay? Mr. Kenge pinned PA's number and told his audience, reach out to PA if you want to give this guy any help because he's suspicious. I, guys, I want to call police. He's moving everywhere. See, we gave him food. He's moving everywhere. This guy is suspicious. Then why are you still raising funds? Why are you still bringing? Is this one content? Here my agent is saying, oh, they make money every month talking about Marwa. They should go and talk about Nicki Minaj. They should go and talk about Rick Ross. They should go and talk about all these Yankee big these celebrities. Why, why are you constantly doing the same content? Why are you guys constantly using people? Why are you catching on people's head? Why can't you guys move out? Hey, Mr. Keng <laughs> drove his woman for the first time. Imagine Gitriba with two eyes. Imagine Gitriba that can see with his two eyes. I'm not here to laugh at Mr. Kenge, even though he laughs at people, even though he makes jests of people. If I must make jests of him, I shouldn't feel bad because the measure you give is the measure you should receive. Imagine with one sight, okay, with two sights, Gitriba is still knocking people down, even children. I heard that only my sugar got injured because of Gitriba. Gitriba drove him and he got injured. But Mamarwa is not talking about it. You are bringing this guy. This guy is suspicious to you. This guy doesn't look real. He looks rich. He dresses good. My, yeah, my husband is saying, his skin is even yellow. If he needs help, his skin must be black. Oh, he has S23. He has two phones. He has techno. He has S23. Mamarwa said, for real, S23. I'm looking at this guy because he was showing Marwa his YouTube channel that he just created. Abuse, abuse, abuse. This is too much. I hear Marwa, you don't even have profile picture. Oh, you don't even have any video. If somebody allow this guy to be, you don't want to help him put the camera off him. You are catching on top of his head. Oh, you want to help. You if you want to help him, put down your camera and help him. 300 USD, you can do it. You feel like his story is not true. You feel like He's suspicious. He's up to something. You want to call police, but at the same time, you're asking your audience to go donate through your audience. Of course, corner corner in business. What do you think? Whatever that is collected there, you think he, he's going to give everything to... Okay, now, how are we going to know that this 300 USD has been raised? You think Baba Marwa will come and tell you how much his PA collected? And you think that his PA, Baba Marwa is not the one controlling his PA and what she does... Go to her channel and come back and tell me about it. <laughs> hey, you guys, this guy is evil, evil, evil. I know that Virginia is up to something. I know that Virginia got a lot going on, okay? But tell me why this guy will block this girl. Tell me why this guy will get jealous that the Virginia is shining. Like I told you guys yesterday, that I'm suspecting that this has to do with the Virginia coming over to his home to bring food to mom. And mom always calling the Virginia, get me water, boil water for me. And the Virginia running, making juice. And even this juice, the Virginia running up and down, cooking, blending, doing all these things. And even them, you know what you know that you cannot do? And another person is doing it, you are not even happy. Another person is doing it, you are even jealous. He is even jealous that the Virginia, of course, his channel is speaking. You know him being there, taking care of his mom. That we can see that his mom needs this help. He's not even hiding it that he can look after Congress mom. He's who, he, when it's time to eat, for sure, he will hide and eat with Rororo because that is what Rororo wants. Racist, racist to the core. He told his mom, imagine your mom got injured. 
and you are standing in front of the whole world to complain about vegetable. Are you not a vegetable for real, Mr. Kenge? Mr. Kenge, hide yourself in shame. Shame on you. Your brother has exposed you finally. You can't look after your mom. Imagine your mom that has been there for you throughout. Now, at her lowest moment, at her down moment, I don't even know what to tell this Congress mom. Yani, I cannot. I cannot let my children do this to me. I must not be there. Even if there's something that is stopping them from, even if there's something that's stopping her from moving back to the villa, which I know very, very well, there's nothing. Probably because of fear that they have driven, of course, Congress dad away from the villa. That's why Congress mom cannot be comfortable in that villa because of probably what they have done to Congress dad. Now, Congress mom cannot be there alone. Fear. With the Virginia, of course, still, anything can happen. And you know they don't have any gate around their villa. No security. So anything can happen. People can come for revenge. People can come to fight back. Why is Mr. Kenge stopping the Virginia from coming to see his mom? From coming to bring the food? This guy prepared everything. And I was waiting. I said, hey, Coco Mama, relax. Now, why are you rushing like this? I said, let me be sure. He ended the vlog and he showed Winnie. And of course, Winnie is the one that will, if David Jr. will be allowed to go into that villa, if David Jr. was not stopped from visiting his mom, from coming to Villa Medellin, from bringing the food that he has prepared for his mom, now he's even saying, he's making corrections by saying, oh, the thing I prepared for my parents, which parents? Where is Congress dad? Congress dad is not in that villa. Of course, Mr. Kenge is behind that one as well. Mr. Kenge is behind it. 247. This guy is restless. This guy is miserable. This guy got no brain. You're going to tell your mom, I don't want you to ask me for money. I don't want you to ask me for food. Your brother, your younger brother, shame on you. Decided to look after his mom. You are stopping him from doing that. You are embarrassed. You can't believe it. That is clear. The heat. This, 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 Roro, 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 this sister has been deleting comments upon comments. I even saw her fake account defending herself that she's not a maid. She's not Congress mom's maid. Who asked you? Don't you have a maid there? Don't you have a manager that is managing? Don't you have someone that cooks for you? Mm? Every day you must eat fresh food. Every day you must eat fresh fish. Guys, look at it. They don't have refrigerator in the house. See how miserable this girl is. You must eat alone. You don't want to dine with your in-law. You don't want to dine with your visitor. I spotted again our Jamaican uncle. And guys, I don't want to lie to you. I'm sorry. Everybody is wearing jacket. Everybody is warm. Everybody is feeling cold. And they got their warm jacket. Except... Jamaica uncle, hear him with singlets and shorts, complaining that he wants, to, this is where he is. Pneumonia is what we don't want to hear. Pneumonia is not a joke. Jamaica uncle, you got to look after yourself. Now that you are saying you don't need jacket, if you don't have jacket because you thought that in Africa, the weather is very, very hot, you better go to the borders and grab yourself a jacket and protect yourself and be safe there <laughs> because pneumonia is not a joke everybody got jacket all of them meaning that the weather is cold it means that the weather is chill <laughs> but our jamaica uncle no he doesn't want to wear any jacket he wants to remain like that i have a feeling that he may not even have jackets <laughs> you know that kind of stuff he may not have jackets Guys, where do we start? Let's watch the Virginia. Also, these are <coughs> onions, guys. Oh, life is very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, guys, you can tell right here our sardines, they have already dried, you see, just like this. And for me, I'm doing smash that like that. Oh, 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 oh. Even me, I'm crying. And I'm shedding tears because of the smoke. 
Guys, the smoke is too much. Yeah. Too much. Smoky kitchen <laughs> ride. Uh, too much. Too much. Serious. Reminds me of the book The Blossoms of Savannah. <laughs> you know the blossoms. Again, he's hanging a lot outside. Again, he couldn't go in. The... Again, I noticed that from the beginning of this vlog to the end, he was not inside that villa. He didn't cook inside that villa. Who locked him out? Why was he in a hurry to leave when his mom is still very sick? When his mom still needs him around? When we can see that he's the only one that can do it? You can't stop him. You can't stop us from knowing what is going on there. We can read in between the lines. We can put two and two together, Mr. Kenge. You have blocked him from coming over to your villa, but we know. You have blocked him from bringing food to your mom, but we know you can't even feed your mom. We know you can't even take care of your mom. Brent, neither your woman. You can't do it. Even Dororo cannot do it. Thank goodness that we can see that Winnie is there. Winnie will take that role, of course, off camera. Guys, this guy is so, so mean. Now, Winnie might be cooking by her place, okay? So who will be sponsoring Winnie? <laughs> hey, who will be giving Winnie money? Congress mom, maybe. Probably more. Congress mom will be. Of course, Congress mom will be giving her daughter money to cook for her and bring whatever she needs. These guys, I don't know. I'm tired. Let's move to this other guy that Mr. Kenge embarrassed in front of the camera. Like, Mr. Kenge finished this guy. Like, you can tell already, your instinct told you already that this guy is lying. This guy looks like somebody. Everybody is a suspect. Once you come to the villa without appointment, without dragging something, gold, even if it's secondhand clothes, whatever, like you fool anything, you should bring even bracelets, whatever you can bring. You must bring something to the villa. If you are not coming to that villa with a gift, you are a suspect. And you will be used for content. And when they finish, they come here and complain about us. Us here, we react around. I don't talk about only Marwa. My Yogunot, how many times do I talk about him here? The scammer. Eh? Anytime you see my Yogunot around, just know that Baba Marwa is about to save his face. Make himself not look bad. You know, that kind of a thing. Come, please. I don't want to be attacked alone. Then you see him bringing my Yogunot around. And hear this one lying that this guy got S23 from S23 to S22. Oh, you can sell one and pay your school fees. Yani, school fees is something you pay one time or what? I don't want to come here and look like, oh, guys, this guy really needs help. No, people, they want to make it. Yani, they might be somewhere. Maybe this guy, let me say, this guy is in school and he got somewhere, or he might even be staying. Or he might even be staying with his parents. Like, looking at him, looking at his appearance. Like I said, some people, they just want to look after themselves. Which should be the right way. Uh, because my uncle is talking like that because he knows that he doesn't take shower every day. With his YouTube fame and everything. He doesn't look after himself. He doesn't even wash his clothes. We can tell. If somebody looks after himself or herself, you can tell. You can pick from the camera. Whether someone is hygiene conscious or not. What are you not telling me? So, Mayogno is intimidated. Mayogno and Mr. Kenge, they are embarrassed that this guy, Mr. Kenge kept saying, but your jacket is expensive. But this jacket is not cheap. What if he got it secondhand? <laughs> hey, you guys. What if he, I'm just saying, like I said, I'm not here to defend this guy and be like, oh, he needs help. People must give him this 300 because... Number one mistake this guy is making is you don't tell people what you need, like the figure that you need. You just ask for help. Probably you need 1,000 USD. If somebody gives you $1, it's something. This person giving you $1, this person giving you $1. And you also trying something. You mustn't be YouTube. Now, most of these guys that come to the villa, okay, tomorrow unannounced, they just want to have it. They believe that, okay, I can be Marwa. Not even most, all of them. They want to make it to them. YouTube is a big career, which is not, which is true. To them, YouTube is a big career. Maybe they have security jobs somewhere. Maybe they are, maybe they are 
chef somewhere. Maybe they are doing something or have a little business somewhere. You understand? But watching, of course, all this Kenge Wood and everything happening, they'll be like, why not? I can have my YouTube channel as well. That's the main thing they come. Someone who is suspicious will not want to appear on camera. Someone who wants to harm you, who wants to hurt you. Because my uncle keeps saying, whoever that comes here when Baba Marwa is not around, we take that person to police. And they don't make reaction. If you don't help them, they go back, they make reaction. They make a reaction because it's freaking what they want to do. You don't have control. Someone can come to you with the intention of doing lifestyle. When he leaves the village, he can decide to do reaction. It's freaking the person's choice. You've got no choice to tell someone who the person reacts to. I can react on your hands there as long as I want. If it's something you guys, Baba Marwa tried to delete my channel. Called his audience. Go, guys, report, report, report. Yes. He tried everything. What happened? He got community strike. It fired back. We are still standing here. We are still here strong. I am still here doing the same reaction. Doing the same Yabuhanze. He's even shocked that his own people are into the same reaction. So-called negative reaction. Yes. How many of them now in the village? So many of them. Countless. He is shocked. He used to brag that nobody, only this West African, this guy even attacked a whole West Africa. I don't know why this is a West African thing, because our people, we are not like this. Only this West African, I can't even eat from them. Oh, I can't even think of, shame on you if you ever come to West Africa. I will remind you, you and your sister. So, guys, I don't have a problem if you look at someone and you'll be like, you see this person, I don't think he's lying. Because Baba Marwa himself is a big liar. He lies in front of us all the time. His mom lies. Devil Junior, all of them, they lie. So why are you embarrassed when somebody is lying? Somebody is claiming that he is poor to you. You don't want to help. You know what? I've given you 2,000 Kenyan shillings. And I told you to leave. You decided to come back. Okay, again, Roro Ro Ro was even talking. This one doesn't know when she is needed and when she is not. Conversations like this, you are not allowed to put your mouth as a woman. Or is there something that you are that we don't know? If you are a man, make it clear to us. Then I will be like, okay. Stuff like this, when men are talking, as a woman, you just move. If you don't want to cook, like you have decided you don't want to do anything, you don't want to, any kitchen stuff or something, go inside that room and be sleeping and be rubbishing yourself. Because stuff like this, you are not supposed to put your mouth in. Period. Here, yeah, my Yogno gave him 1,000. And this person gave, and the security guard, they said they, that this guy was roaming around. What do you expect him to do? He must stand there in the villa like a stick. Because you stand... Because you gave him Ogale, he must stand here. Probably this guy, because he told Marwa that he opened a YouTube channel, okay? And I'm very, very sure that it was someone around that helped him. This one will not even give him proper, you know, introduction to YouTube, proper orientation that, okay, this is what you do, this is what not, do you know, all those kinds of, no, everything is content. What do you think? He is trying to shy away from taking Roro Roro on vacation. So he will find every excuse to keep. Look at how, look at his thumbnail, look at his title, guys. He's cashing on top of this guy. How much is he going to make from this content alone? Why can't he do it? You can do it, Mr. Kenge. If you feel this guy, and he said, Oh, I'm surprised that nobody responded. Are they owing you, your audience? You think they are morons? You think they are stupid? You think you can press them like this? You think you can press your audience like this and be like, have this person, give this person 300 USD. Like, seriously, did you give them money to keep for you? This guy is not even supposed to mention any amount. You can pay your school fees. You can go out for a while, defy your studies, go somewhere in Nairobi. Already he's from Nairobi. My husband is complaining that his belly is big. I don't get it. You expected him to have flat belly. Hey, like I said, guys, Marwa brought Mayogno to this vlog so that they will humiliate this guy, make jests of this guy. And this is, let me tell you, this 
works this way, okay? Reverse psychology. They do this so that people, it will trigger people to do something for this guy. Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. It will trigger people to do something for this guy. It will make some people reach out to Irene and be like, Irene, I want to give this guy 500. Please, 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 please. And of course, Irene will be, yes, 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 yes. And the person will push, push. Have you given, have you given, have you given? And you hear Baba Marwa coming up with stories like, oh, this guy is not genuine. This guy is like this. I reported to the police, da, 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 da. And what? He will carry the whole thing and move. If you don't want to help people, Mr. Kenge, you don't have to bring them to your audience. If somebody looks suspicious to you, you feel this person is lying. Why still filming that person? Because a thief will not want to be recorded. Somebody who has bad intention, a spy. You remember how he labeled the other guy? I forgot his name, a spy. He ended up that this guy was just there to make both ends meet. This guy was even ready to work. He worked, he worked, he worked. He harvested sand for Baba Marwa, did a whole lot, and ended up falling sick. He even rented a place. This Kenya again was telling this guy, this yellow skin guy, that at the border you can rent a place, 1,000 a month. You can get a room there. At the border, if I tell you what is going on there, all the shows are there. So you're going to send this guy to the border where he will end up, you know, rubbishing himself. Where he will end up doing alcohol, you know, sleeping around. Of course, going him going to the border will be another story because... So many Olo shows are there selling their bodies, doing drugs, doing so many stuff, right there at the border. And guess who was there and was accused of sleeping with Olo shows? Of course, BT. By their fruits, you shall know them. Pretenders everywhere. Off camera, they do the undoable, unthinkable. On camera, hey, hey, Diana, Diana. <laughs> but behind, you are going to sleep with Olo shows. Behind, you are sleeping with all the shows, drinking and rubbishing yourself with them. So, you don't want to help. You don't have to help. Let's watch them, guys. Okay, here. Here? Now you have to go back. Because we just passed the van. <laughs> you know, I don't know to see behind me. Now, I'm trying to help you as much as I can. But every minute you keep pushing the next button, I next was, button. I was to say if someone can... Then now, this video people will see tomorrow. How will people, people send you right now? Okay. So, okay, yes. I will try to get a place maybe then to, 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 to sleep before I figure out... Uh, you see, the problem with your story is sometimes you do like this. You say, I, now I forgot to say I have not eaten for the last few days. Or I forgot to say I don't have a place to stay. I forgot to say I don't have money with me. So think think of such a story. Like the other guy who came for school fees, now he's at school. I've already given you money before. Open a, a YouTube channel. But you see, that can solve your problem immediately, the way you need money and yeah. you need... I've not posted anything. Now how, uh, how will people follow you when you've not no, posted I've, anything? I've, I've took even, some videos. Even you don't have a picture of yourself. I've took some videos, it's called Mixology Jeremy. So I've took some videos I'm going to post right away after the after this. Yeah. So you you pray pray that one of uh, the viewers here will support you three hundred dollars. There is no friend you can say, bro, let me stay at you here. Use everyone to be fake. You don't even have one friend you can say. Three hundred dollars. I um, I really need it. I really need it for the school fees. Yes, you ask for that. And somebody and guys if you want to send money I will ask my PA Iron Jeb to actually uh, collect the money for him. Yes. Uh, sometimes guys even me I'm 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 speechless. I don't know if yeah, but I, I keep just saying because I'm blessed, I should. But sometimes, guys, this guy is very weird. Imagine you gave him food, he's left. Huh? Yeah, I'll, call, I'll call the police. Ah, oh, this guy even gives me chills. I, I don't like such type of people. But it's weird that he's walking all over, you know? Come on, my name. Wait, what can I say at this point? Yeah. He's big like this, yeah. he's back in the school. <laughs> hey, 
Ni mkorofi. Cuz he said he, he doesn't he doesn't answer. Uh, so he gave him money already. Yeah, I giving out. Uh, no. He's already receiving 4000 for transport. Thank you. Five. He can sell one phone, get school fee. At least he have one using. Hey. Yeah. Because the phone this phone has 23. You can sell at 50 maybe 50000. 50, you It's S23 you sure? Yeah, S22. S22. Hey, so expensive phone. Hey. So expensive. So, but because you know, hey, gold man. because people get salary through name Maro every month. When you told him, can you go reacting maybe for recross <laughs> Europe there? <laughs> hey? Troll recross. <laughs> if we cannot react for recross, maybe <laughs> JB, call him Jay Z. Jay Z. Yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce is their biggest famous in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maro here, here every day. What is going on in Villa Madi? Villa is it for you, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, guys, also that really shocks me a lot that they are big, big, big people. Yeah. You can react about can, every yeah. day. But somebody from Monday <laughs> to Monday. Monday to Monday. Marwa, Marwa, Marwa. 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 Uh, but uh, you know, the yeah. things, he, even uh, the subscriber on Marwa, yeah. now you are uh, 500,000 yeah. strong. Yeah. Can you be careful? Because you every single day you see someone open YouTube channel. When you don't get support tomorrow is reaction. Yeah. Yeah, when you don't get support tomorrow, you're going to do reaction. Because you know, when I don't get support in Marwa Direct, can you I go straight? Even uh, I remember when you are here, Baba Barwa, asking Jamaica Uncle, how many watch hours do you have? Have you been monetized? Tell me about it when he leaves the Yabhansa. Come back and ask him again how many watch hours he has. Mm, how many views he's got he's laughing he's indirectly laughing at jamaica grandma because he knows that this is what temporal is transitional just for the time being that he is there in yabahansi jamaica uncle look after yourself cover your legs because of mosquito bites this one that he's wearing shorts briefs i don't get it yay i'm just saying because you're looking around and you're seeing other people on jacket people are keeping themselves warm because they understand. <laughs> and Jamaica Oku is busy getting excited for 6,000 watch hour. Congratulations to him. Congratulations to him that his channel will be getting monetized, if not monetized already. Mayoguno, hide yourself in shame. Shame on you. What are you up to? Oh, they talk about Marwa every day. They take salary from Marwa every day. You, who do you talk about every day? What do you do? Why can't you go out there? Go show us Tanzania. Why are you doing? What are you doing exactly on your channel? Huh? Tell me. We come here, we talk about life issues. We, we come here, we talk about the real things. We come here, we bring gist. What is going on? Real life situations. That's what we talk here. That's what we do here. <laughs> we are here to learn, relearn, and unlearn. We are not just here to waste our time. You, what are you doing exactly on your channel? Every day you are hiding in the bush, lying, activating donation, the same construction site, the same building, the same rubbish story, the same cock and bull story. The same yama yama life, the same, the same lies, like boss, like master, you and your boss, same O, same O. These guys, I don't understand. Why must Mr. Kenge be doing this on camera? I don't get it. This is, didn't I tell, I told you guys this, that this is another way of him activating donation, is a donation way. Is there another form of donation? Reach out to my PA. You reach out to Irene Jeff. You reach out to his PA. Your money is gone and gone forever. You reach out to PA. This money will not even get to this guy. He has used this guy for content. And I'm very sure that he will make this. I'm very, very, very sure that from this content, he's going to make more than this 300 that this guy is asking for. Upon the humiliation, upon the insults, uh, upon the attack from all of them, everybody in that compound, rubbish this guy. Leave him. Don't bring him to camera. He hasn't stolen from you. He's moving around your compound, probably vlogging. So that's the main reason why he came there. Like I said, guys, all of them, they are coming for YouTube to start up their YouTube channel. That's it. 
Nobody who has bad intention would want to be recorded. You wouldn't want that because it means that you can't do anything anymore. Everybody has seen you. In fact, people that don't know you before, now they know you because you have appeared on camera. <laughs> you know, you have appeared on a big television. Hey, I thought I've seen it. Well, I'm not surprised because, I mean, look at what is going on now. Look at how he's treating his family. If he can be this cruel, if he can be this mean to his mom, to his brother, who am I? You understand? If he can do all this, Mr. Kenge again is attacking reactors. Yes, yes, I don't know why these people talk about me every day. I don't know why every day they talk about me. They talk about me. I don't know why every day you talk about people needing help. I don't know why every day you must abuse people, humiliate people. I don't know why every day you bring your mom to camera and insult her. We need to know why you do all these things you are doing every day. If you stop behaving like this every day, then why are we talking about you every day? I don't know every day you must push out content, Baba Marwa. You must bring your GoPro camera and be recording nonsense. I don't know why. Hey, Baba Marwa was giving his woman first ride. I said, Lord, 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 Lord have mercy. It was chaos, I'm telling you. Imagine you are driving with one eye and at the same time, you covered even your eye. With one eye, you are wearing sunglasses. With one eye, this guy got his sunshade on. I know, I understand he's wearing this to protect the unaffected eye, okay, from getting injured. But at least when he's driving, he should wear a clear one, not wearing sunshade. You understand? Because it's going to cause accidents if care is not taken. I'm just saying. Well, at least they left the villa to do something, something different. If that's the way she should be. Mayoguno, the highest place Mayoguno has been to is Mombasa and Nairobi. What else? You are from Tanzania. You are in Yabohanze. You came there to work as a laborer. And you were fortunate to have this. You're going to look down on someone who is 100 times better than you. If not the Marawas, tell me who will even look at Mayoguno. Think of having conversation with him. Tell me who will even click on his channel. What is he even doing? What is he talking about on his channel? Hmm? What is, tell me what his channel is all about. To come and rubbish the reactors. You feel reactors are your problem. Shame on you. Scammer. Have you paid those guys that you scam their money back? Because you need to be arrested. For real, guys. Mayugno needs to be arrested and questioned. You can't take advantage of people like this. And because of the immunity you have around the marrowers, you think you can still stand and talk nonsense. Scammers everywhere. Let's end it with D. D met up with Kino's mom. I've never been embarrassed like this. You know when you are coming to a place, okay? London is expensive. UK in general is expensive. Guys, we're talking about pounds. This girl is trying to impress us. Okay, the reactors. Oh, look at the hotel where I'm staying. According to our people there in UK, okay, the place where she's staying, the hotel where she's staying is a regular one. It's not something that is spectacular. It's not something that will wow anybody. It's just a normal, not even five star. Okay? But to her, it's all about bragging. No, oh, look at where I am or this, this. You met up with Kino's mom. Kino's mom is a UK citizen. You understand? You, you are a visitor. When someone is a visitor to a place, you are welcomed at home. D kept telling Kino's mom, I want to eat spicy food. I want to eat Jamaican food. I want to eat Jamaican food. I'm tired of European food. I'm tired of Western food. And this woman is supposed to welcome D in her home, no matter how bad her home is. Let me even say, because people always complain about accommodation in the UK, that the accommodation is not big. It is what it is. It's not even big. There are rooms, from what I heard, their, their accommodation is not that spacious, okay? But no matter how bad it is, let me even say that this woman stays in one room. Why can't she invite D over? Why must D meet her on the street? What a shame. D met her on the street. They went to this London bridge. They bought tickets, okay? <laughs> when D was 
trying to get her ticket up because of course you know that again the same thing that Baba Marawa has been telling this girl don't waste your money like this if I was D because D will always try to impress and let her audience know that she has arrived this village girl you know from nowhere in Yabuhanze look at me I've been to 40 countries my 41 country, oh, I'm in London, you know, I can do it, I can be this, I can be that. No matter how she tries to pretend to make it look like she has made it, she's still not supposed to. I mean, Kino's mom supposed to accommodate her. Why is Kino's mom not even inviting her over? I can understand if she doesn't have a place for her to stay there for a while. Again, she premiered a video before I started this one, that she has left London. There's no way she can keep up with this lifestyle. There's no way. Kino's sister is using her. Now, Kino's mom met up with her on the streets. There's no way you will tell me that this woman invited D and D will not record. Because you can tell that this woman is not camera shy. She was smiling and making me, you know, you know the thing go. She actually showed D the thing go by dragging her son with her. So D ended up what? coughing out a lot of pounds. Hey! When it was time for them to get the ticket to go to the London Bridge, D quickly cut that part because guess what? Of course, she was the one that paid. She paid out of her pocket. There's no way this woman will bring herself out, you know, on the street and her son and you still expect her to pay. You know what? I am D, like Yanni. I can run the show. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to pay. Mm, I got some pounds. D also invited them over to the hotel where she stays, which is supposed to be the other way around. It's supposed to be the other way around. You understand? Because she's a resident. She's a citizen. Okay? She knows the city in and out. You actually came there because of her. Again, this is giving us clear hint that D is still running after Kino. For D to go to London and to meet up with Kino's mom, meet up with Kino's sister, is giving a hint that baby girl is not backing up. And she will keep spending. She will keep spending. She will keep be taking advantage of. I mean, these guys will keep taking advantage of her. They will keep using her like this. <laughs> hey, she even made Kino's sister her moderator. Nice one. We're going to watch her before we call it a day. But what do I want to say here? <laughs> if you are not wise, you are not wise. I'm not saying that Kino's mom must keep D like Yanni. D, let's say D wants to stay in London for three days, that she must sleep over by Kino's mom's place. No, that's not what I'm saying. But Kino's mom supposed to meet D. She's supposed to welcome D and make D feel at home. You understand? Not just D meeting her on the street and they are roaming around the buying food for her, paying for her train. Hey! I thought I have seen it all. This is not it, guys. This one looks, you know, this is what we call desperado. When you are desperate, like he is written all over you. You fussing everything at your own expense. Why is she running away from London? She must stay in London for one month. She must pay for that hotel. Even if it's 200 pounds. Even if it's 100 pounds or even 50 pounds. I don't know how much is the cost. Of course, she will try to exaggerate and make it look like she's spending arm and a leg in a hotel. <laughs> of course, she will try to pretend like she's spending a lot. But no matter how little, let her stay there. This is not looking real at all. This is not the way it should be. Imagine if D was in a Yabuhanse. And Kino is coming to your hands. Will you expect D to meet Kino at the borders? And Kino probably staying somewhere at the borders. And not even coming to the villa. No matter how bad it is. See Marwa inviting the whole world. Doing 30 days party. Without finishing his house. Up to now, the house is not yet completed. You have to be comfortable. If someone, you, if you value someone, this is the way me I see it. If you value someone and you care so much about that person and you love the relationship that person has with your person. Yeah, I mean, this, we're talking about Kino's mom here. Okay. This woman knows very well that her son and D 
stayed together for months, for more than four months. So they've done things like they've marinated and forget about all these camera things that they are doing. Forget about all their pretense, pretending like nothing happened on camera. Forget about all their pretense that they were not snacking and all that. We, we know. We can see through. Okay, at least they had great time together. Now you are coming to see his mom and his mom is seeing you casually like this. Nobody should tell me that probably they met offline. I mean, they visited offline and she's private. There's nothing like privacy there. If this woman doesn't want to be recorded, they will still meet her and be like, I met, and why calling her my mom? Hey, complete the sentence, D, mom-in-law. Why making yourself again, same like Rororo, Rororo calling Congress mom, her mother-in-law. This one is afraid to put in-law there. Oh, I met my mom. So Congress mom is not your mom. Tell us about it, D. Eh? No matter what, if you have someone in mind, if you have someone close to your heart, if you know that this person means something to you, you will not meet that person on the streets and let that person take you out. It's as if they took Kino's mom and Kino's brother on a date. Kino's brother throughout the vlog was flat, 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 flat. Nobody should tell me that he's a quiet type. If he's a quiet type, he probably would tell his mom, I'm not going to come because I know that you are going to meet a vlog. I don't want to be recorded. These guys, you can, it's written all over them. That they know that this girl is running after them. He's written all over them. Yani, he's written all over Kino's mom. A smile looks fake, 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 fake. Kino looks like his mom. A very pretty woman. And you can see the resemblance. Kino works like his mom. You know? I'm not even supposed to talk about her the way I'm saying. As if I'm going on the negative side. But all I can tell is she is not Yani, Yani, Yani gumming with D. You know, even if D wants to establish something, it's still not clicking to Coco Mama. Now drop yours in the comment section and let me know what you think, okay? Let's watch the clip before we call it a day. We just stepped out right now. It's it's not that cold. Honestly, today the weather wow they will know how the thing go. My eyes nowadays, they spot cars only. <laughs> My eyes just these good cars only on the road, you know? No matter what. Wow, guys. All right, welcome to London. It looks really nice. The art on the wall. Wow. All right, but since I've been in Europe for so long, nothing is so new, you know, just the name of the country. But anyways, it's such a good day. The sun is out. So we're going to take you along. Today I want to eat Jamaican dumplings. We want to go to a Jamaican restaurant today. Jamaican restaurant? Yes. Okay. Yes. Today. Cool. All right, guys. Right now we're here, Kensington train station. We want to get a train and um, yeah, to London Bridge. And I can't wait to be there for the first time. <laughs> that, is the that is it, guys. Wow, I love how it looks. The wow, the design at the top looks really nice perfect lighting okay there we go in europe it's all about trains 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 and they're so quick and nice all right we get a ticket where here yeah yeah i'm getting one even when i come back i'll, I'll be having it so to where by destination. We need a one what day what one day. One day travel card. Yeah? Yeah, one day that will be okay. <laughs> yeah, but I'm so much used to trains in Europe, you know, it's the easiest way to move around. And cheap. so be sure to try this whenever you want to. Okay. Yay. Yes, finally. <laughs> Finally, guys, we wanna eat. That is it. Now they know the tingle. Lightning, <laughs> and thunderbolt. Shake them down and let them fall. 
strike through the wicked hearts for me. Hey. Watch out for me, <laughs> That is no. Let me take you guys down because I'm going to get some bottles of water. Yeah, I have the card. If you watch to this moment, you know who you are. You are the best. Thank you all for coming in today to support Coco Mama like you always do. Thank you for your likes, comments, suggestions. All rishi rishi bubu tibu. I love and appreciate you all from the bottom bottomness of my heart. Do not forget to give this video thumbs up. Yes, give this video thumbs up. Drop it to Woto for Coco Mama. I deserve it. In it, is in it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Yes, bring someone to the table. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Coco Mama. I see you all in my another one. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Bye bye. Bye guys. She my brother, we gon' live forever. Money island to the mainland, pulling up in the beamer.